Hey, it's Steve. I wanted to do a quick video here on the new Bader Flip Mirror 2 Diagonal, which I picked up, oh, about a month or so ago, and I've been using quite a bit now uh, with my astrophotography setup. And really, I just love this mirror. This has been a great addition for what I currently have for my setup. Currently, I'm using the Explore Scientific Twilight 1 mount, and because it is a manual Altaz mount, when you're using a camera like this ASI 224MC, you know, obviously, you you know you, you don't have a huge field of view with this camera uh, like you do with uh, like a DSLR, which I've used a lot, or, or through your eyepiece. And so it can become challenging when using a manual mount to actually find the planet or whatever you're trying to image. And so, so the really nice thing about this diagonal is that I can have an eyepiece on the top, I can have a camera on the back, or what I've even done too is taken my DSLR and mounted that on the top of the camera, and then I have the ASI camera on the back, and I can actually go back and forth between imaging with both cameras. But really, this has been just super helpful because before, when I was just putting the camera directly into the back of the telescope, you know, with the power mate on there, it, you know, it's, it could be really challenging to get, you know, the planet in the field of view of the camera just because you had, you know, the manual controls, and even though you might be really close to the planet, you know, based on the finder. So you just spend a lot, a long time fiddling around with the controls, trying to get the planet centered in the camera. So anyway, this makes it really easy. So the way it works, you just basically flip between the top one and the bottom one. So basically, so either you have the mirror there or you can flip it up and you have a straight pass through. And so that makes it really easy to go back and forth between using one or the other. And it also has an auxiliary port on the bottom. And so you can do an off-axis guider or a calibration lamp or something like that down through here. And that will work independent of which way the mirror is as well. So that's pretty nice as well. First of all, in terms of image quality, I have two of the Bader prism diagonals, which I think are just fantastic. Um, I've compared those to other diagonals that are you know pretty high end, and those are my favorite by far, for, for at least for doing planetary work. And so I don't have a firm opinion whether it's, you know, how it compares to the prism diagonal in terms of overall quality. Um, I haven't used it enough visually to kind of really compare that. And doing the photography, either way, I don't use a diagonal. So I'm not really 100% sure yet on uh, how, that, how it compares directly. It's, it's very good. I mean, the views of Jupiter visually or, or Saturn visually with this mirror is, are, are really good. But again, I'm not sure how that compares to the prism diagonal at this point directly. However, the one downside is that it is expensive for the whole setup. So this mirror diagonal, I think, is something like $225, $30. But you don't get any of the adapters. You do actually get a lot of adapters um, for threads. You get you get a variety of T2 and M48, I believe, adapters, both male and female, so that you can use on all the sides. But you don't get any of the eyepiece or you know camera adapters. So what I did for the setup here is I have the one and a quarter inch T2 a helical focuser so that just screws onto the top and then this allows me to focus the eyepiece independently of a telescope which is really nice because what you can then do is then focus the telescope uh, so the camera is in focus and then you can depending on what eyepiece you use just focus the eyepiece using the helical fo focuser and so this way you can have everything be in both focus for the eyepiece or camera that you have up here and the camera you have here. So when you go back and forth, you're not having to change focus at all. Everything will be in focus for both ways. So that is really nice. And then on this side, I just have the one and a quarter inch click lock adapter here. So that just makes it really easy to swap the cameras in and out. And then on this side, I have the SCT adapter since I'm currently using this with my C6. And so, you know, when you add up all these parts, I don't remember what the total cost was, but it was probably at least another $150, maybe maybe 200 I don't know. And so, you know, you might be talking about doubling the cost of the mirror. So it's pretty expensive to have this whole setup, but it does really make things a lot easier for doing imaging if you, you know, especially if you're using a manual mount. But even if you're not, uh, it just makes it easier to acquire your target with the eyepiece, assuming you can see it, and then flip back and forth between the eyepiece and the camera. But overall, it's just a nice setup. You know, it just makes it nice and easy to have two different cameras hooked up all the time, or have eyepieces and a camera hooked up, and you know, it just makes it really convenient for, you know, for doing multiple things uh, with the same telescope without having to spend a lot of time swapping gear back and forth. And so I do highly recommend this diagonal. Again, the main caveat being cost. And so if that isn't really an issue, then I would highly recommend getting this Bader flip mirror uh, if you're looking to get uh, a high quality diagonal 
that can do multiple things at the same time. So anyway, that's all for now, and thanks for watching. Bye.